Okay, this is the this is the basic story of archers. That about 300 million years back, there was this huge inland ocean here, and apparently that filled and dried out about 29 times, and that left about a mile of salt, um, which then subsequently got um, coated um, in dust. So this is about 200 million years ago. So this is when. Uh, the huge sand dunes uh, for Zion formed. Anyway, so what then happened is, so you have this huge amount of salt and sediment built up on top, is with tectonic collision, the salt flowed um, and the cracks let in water, which then washed out the salt and the whole thing sort of collapsed. And that's what gave you these fins. And it's these fins is what makes arches arches. So you get these lots of uh, fin structure that permeate all this area, both canyonlands and arches. And then, of course, uh, wind um, essentially does the rest for you. And the main difference between arches and canyonlands is canyonlands is mostly carved by, oh, I forgot what it is, Little Colorado and Green River, I think. And these are some of the things which I've uh, not had any time to take in, like uh, petrified tunes I came by. Balanced rock, well, maybe. Doesn't look so balanced from the other angle, though. Uh, delicate arch we went out to. I mean, I've been here before and seen most of these things. I've seen Sol Valley. Anyway, um, this place, like I say, this place cooks in um, cooks in the heat of the day. And it must be said, actually, this is one of the most uh, expensive-looking visitor centres I've seen in the entire park. <laughs> image not loaded into database I mean this is sort of I've not seen anything like this in any of the other national parks they are date of discovery let's go for uh, pretty sophisticated for the national parks you know ok so Arches and canyon lands just a bit to the north and the east, and everywhere you look, oh, see there are uh, things like this. There's always arches or caves somewhere. Okay, that was basically the trial of fire of flying in wind. Now I'm a degree more experienced than I used to be. 
but uh, you know, it's a nice place to fly, excellent recovery prospects, you know, no matter where you uh, crash it. I didn't as it turns out, but uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's the guy I wanted to marry off for the show, the giant sandstone willy. But uh, uh, I've taken a quick look at the video, it didn't look that good, but uh, it turns out I've also stripped some of the teeth off the panning servo on one of the very heavy landings that I had in the in, in Delicate Arch which is a bit of a pisser so the panning's all screwed up as well but uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to find somewhere this place absolutely cooks during the day it really is I'm, I'm heading out now it's only 11 o'clock it might even be 10 uh, but yeah this place is an absolute oven during the day and canyon lands over there it's a dramatic drive in by the way you get to drive through these huge zion like cliff faces but rather like the the gorge i drove up yesterday anyway so flew in some fairly strong wind although not gusty i think gusty is a killer 5000 feet 20 mile an hour wind oh this is heading north from uh, arches towards Canyonlands, but I'm not going to stop off in Canyonlands. There's a lot of fantastic stuff to see around here, there really is, but it's a combination of two things. I'm just knackered. I need, I need some rest, and uh, in the desert, it's really hard to find cool, uh, somewhere cool to rest. So, I'm heading north to the interstate. As you can see, there is some fantastic scenery. And I'm going to miss out Canyonlands, which is over on this side. Uh, which, uh, yeah, for me, is comparable to the Grand Canyon. It's a huge amount of Canyonlands. Uh, it's also got some different topologies to different areas of Canyonlands. And then, lastly, there's this huge crater-like thing called Upheaval Dome, which people think is a collapsed salt boat, but no one's really entirely sure. But that's worth taking a look at as well. But, uh, yeah, I've been on the road now for a couple of weeks. Oh, so, sorry, almost a couple of months. And, yeah, I, I want to sleep in a bed. I want, I, I, I want to have running water. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop off in a few places in Colorado, but other than that, I'm heading back, back, uh, back to New York, back home. Okay, just a quick shot from Grand Junction at sunset, where you've got all the mountains turning pink in the, uh, in the dusk. And then, over there, you have the fantastic sunset. Anyway, right, so I'm now heading south to, um, south to Montrose and Black Canyon of the Gunnison. Uh, about a, a 2,000 foot canyon, but it's carved straight down through granite, which makes it a very impressive canyon to look at. So, that's next stop.